Um, so today, um, today's meditation is going to be on the kindness of sentient beings when they were our mothers. Um, and so the purpose is to develop a sense of warmth and appreciation. So you don't have to do it with your mother. You can use a father or another figure. Um, you know, you, you kind of choose and see what works for you and what works for your mind, because lots of people have tricky relationships with their parents. So you just see what works for you. Okay. So to begin, we can establish a comfortable posture. Making sure that back is straight, not tense. Relaxing the shoulders, the neck. And gently scanning down from the top of the head, relaxing the head and the neck. Relaxing the shoulders and upper body, the arms, hands. Relaxing the hips, legs, and the feet. And feeling the sensations of contact with the cushion or the chair beneath you. And taking a long breath in. And exhale. Letting go of any thoughts, tensions, distractions, anything that's keeping you from being fully present. And to help cultivate our motivation today, we can take as inspiration the words of His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. And he says, if you think you're too small to make a difference, try sleeping with a mosquito. So often we think that we're small, that we don't make a difference. But we don't need to think that way. Every positive thought, every positive action, it contributes to the peace and happiness of this world, our country, our community. It contributes. And so we can think that we're going to contribute our energy, our positivity to this planet, to sentient beings. And so with the wish to become enlightened, to benefit all sentient beings, this is our contribution, the peace and happiness of the world and sentient beings. So try to develop the heart of bodhicitta, your motivation for this meditation today. And so recalling that when we motivate in this way, we're supported by the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the merit field. 
So you can imagine either the Buddha, the merit field, your guru in front of you. And we take refuge using the refuge prayer. We do that three times. Sange chudan soki chok nam la janchu badu dami gap suchi dagi jin sogi pe sanam ki sho sange chudan soki chok nam la janchu badu dami gap suchi dagi jin sogi pe sanam ki jola penche sange jupar sho Sange chodan saki chognam la Jancho bado dani kapsuchi Dagi jin sogi pe sonam ki Dola penchi sange du par sho And so, with the support and the blessings, the Guru, the Buddha, the merit field can take five minutes to calm the mind by meditating on the breath. You can take whatever object the breath is most beneficial for you, the air coming in and out of the nostrils or the rising and falling of the tummy.
And so with a mind that is more calm and focused and relaxed, we can begin by touching in with the mind of equanimity. The fact that on the side of sentient beings, they're all the same. And having helped us or harmed us, the same in wanting to be happy and not suffer. And so we resolve that we're going to develop ourselves to work for the benefit of all. And so to cultivate the mind reflecting on the kindness of sentient beings when they were our mother, we begin with the mother of this side. If you prefer, you can choose another relative or guardian. And so reflecting on after you were born or an early part of your life, consider that with whatever capacity she had, she took care of you. Loved you, fed you, held you, protected you. Without which she probably would have died. Even simple things like us having had food and clothing took so much effort and care. She probably sacrificed sleep and well being to give us the things that we needed to stay alive. And then as we grew, to the best of her ability, the mother took care of us, cooked and fed, provided clothing, shoes, made sure we had an education. took care of us when we were sick. And with whatever money she had, or resources, tried to obtain things for us. sometimes necessities or sometimes just toys, beautiful things. Whatever she had, she tried to give. Sometimes she may have engaged in negative karma to give us the things that we needed and used and relied on.
And not only ensuring our survival and helping us to grow up in the world, but just the fact of this human body, which is so important for our precious human rebirth. came from our mother, our parents. Our ears to hear the Dharma or legs to go to teachings. Everything we have to study, listen, practice. It's all due to the precious human rebirth and this body that we inherited. So try and see that with whatever resources she had to the best of all her abilities, she strove to do everything she could within her capacity. To give you everything she was able to give. So if you develop a sense of that kindness, appreciation, just abide in it. Next, bring to mind another loved one or friend, someone that it's easy to generate warmth towards. And consider that even though it might not look like it now in this life, at some time in the past, they've been your mother. can imagine how they may have looked, the characteristics. Their skin color, their personality. And think that before you were even born, she loved you. She cared for you. She was excited to have you. She ate certain foods and avoid others. Tried to take care of you. And when you were born, she was so happy. You were this most precious thing. And 
And as you grew, she fed you and clothed you, took you to school. Sat by you when you were sick. Did everything to cherish and look after you and help you grow in the world. Or with whatever means she had available, she tried to give you a life and means to be happy and progress in this world. Sometimes a great sacrifice to ourselves. Our only concern is for you to be happy. So try to develop a sense of the kindness of this person when they were your mother. And when you cultivate that, just abide in it. but we haven't had only one other mother. You can think that all the people around us, our friends, our neighbors, shopkeepers, all of them at some point have been our mothers and they've been kind. Using the logic of our mind, stretching back, beginning the sleep. You can see we've had countless mothers. And so to the extent that you're able, try to extend this sense of kindness and gratitude to all mothers who have been kind to us in past lives. And I extend this gratitude to all sentient beings who have been our mother and been equally kind. Again, if you develop a sense of that Kindness and gratitude just abide in it.
And so for all sentient beings who've been our mother and have been kind, we can dedicate all the merits for their happiness, peace, for them to become completely free of all suffering and for their attainment of the enlightened state. And we can do the dedication prayers. Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme, and may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. Along with breath, members of Rinpoche. You who uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Majinat's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplished magnificent prayers honoring the three jewels, Savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. For His Holiness, the wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel source of every single benefit and happiness in this world. To the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. For Osel, Venerable One, to you whose kindness exceeds that of all the Congo's wanderers in far off places, especially the West, Mindful of your loving concern for us in intentionally descending a quest. O Lama, please, please live long. Forgive your and share it. Beloved teacher, leading your students towards wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path. You are the unequaled guide. Please live a long and stable life. And you can add your own medications as well. Hey. So thank you everybody.